Welcome student. Hope you, you guys you are having nice studies and today topic I will cover arrangement of artificial teeth. I divided them into two parts for you to enjoy more. First part we will see how to arrange anterior teeth. Second part we will see how to arrange posterior teeth. So now we are done with mounting and teeth selection. The next laboratory procedure for complete denture fabrication is going to be teeth arrangement. During artificial teeth arrangement, flowing need to be considered. The first factor is anatomical landmark, regeneration, balanced occlusion, and neutral zone. You have to remember that during teeth arrangement, your teeth must be arranged in a neutral zone. About regeneration, here we will talk about class 1 teeth arrangement. For revision, class 1 is when mesiobacal cusp of maxillary first molar is in the mesiobacal groove on the mandibra first molar. Here is general rule to follow during teeth arrangement. If you follow this, you will arrange your teeth correctly. Maxillary teeth are set labial to crest of a alveolar ridge, while mandibular teeth are set over crest of a alveolar ridge. Now let's start on the maxillary anterior teeth arrangement. The first one is going to be maxillary central incisor. By using wax knife or a wax spatula, you are going to make a notch in your maxillary occlusorium, then make mesiodistal inclination of maxillary central incisor so that the wrong axis incline slightly toward the midline when viewed from front. As you can see, this central incisor is inclined toward this midline if you can see it from front. Rebioringo inclination, your maxillary central incisor it is raw. 15 degree when viewed from side as you can see here is 15 degree labial inclination of maxillary central incisor occlusal plane contact the incisor edge contact the occlusal plane with help of flat grass you will make sure that incisor edge is at occlusal plane the second teeth is going to be maxillary lateral incisor. While setting lateral incisor, wrong axis incline more toward midline than central incisor when viewed from front. As you can see, the lateral incisor is mesially inclined more than your central incisor. Maxillary lateral incisor is placed in your occlusorium with radio inclination which is more than that of central incisor we have seen that for central incisor it is 15 degree for lateral incisor is going to be 20 degrees occlusal plane contact unlike your maxillary central incisor maxillary lateral incisor does not contact occlusal plane in fact it is 1 mm short from occlusal plane as you can see this is this horizontal line mark our occlusal plane and the maxillary lateral incisor is not touching it must be one mm short from occlusal plane the point to remember mesial surface of lateral incisor overlap distal surface of central incisor why because the lateral incisor, it slopes both rabiary and mesiary more than the maxillary central incisor. Thus, for that reason, it will make mesial surface of lateral incisor overlap distal surface of central incisor. Next is going to be maxillary canine. Mesiodistal inclination. Its long axis is parallel to vertical axis when viewed from front this means that if you are setting your maxillary canine 
no mesial or distal inclination is present. The bilingual inclination, its long axis is parallel to vertical axis when viewed from side. This means that there is no labial or lingual inclination, just like it does not have either mesial or distal inclination. Occlusal plane contact, just like a central incisor, maxillary canine, the incisor edge must contact occlusal plane. So before we proceed to mandibular anteriors, let's do a recap. Maxillary central incisor and lateral incisor, they both show inclinations. Canine does not show any kind of inclination. Maxillary central incisor is labially inclined. Maxillary lateral incisor is more labially inclined than maxillary central incisor. Maxillary canine is not either labially or lingually inclined. On mesiodistal inclination, maxillary central incisor is mesially inclined toward your midline. Maxillary lateral incisor is more inclined than central incisor toward midline. Maxillary canine does not show mesial inclination. Maxillary central incisor and canine contact occlusal plane while lateral incisor does not as you can see maxillary central incisor touching maxillary lateral incisor is not touching maxillary canine is touching let's start with mandibular central incisor it's mesiodistal inclination the long axis is vertical to occlusal plane when viewed from front as you can see this is mandibular central incisor it does not have mesiodistal inclination but the long axis of this teeth is parallel to the vertical axis the bioringo inclination its long axis slope labially when viewed from the side so you have to set your mandibular mandibular central incisor with Rebio inclination. Occlusal plane contact. The incisor edge is about 2 mm about the occlusal plane. As you can see, mandibular central incisor, its incisor edge is 2 mm above the occlusal plane. Assume occlusal plane is this green line. Next is going to be mandibular lateral incisor. Again, it's mesiodistal inclination. Its long axis inclined toward the vertical axis when viewed from front. Unlike mandibular central incisor, this one will have mesial inclination toward midline when you view it from front. Rebuilding inclination. Just like mandibular central incisor, mandibular lateral incisor, it show the rebuild inclination when you can view it from the side. Occlusal plane contact, just like mandibular central incisor, mandibular lateral incisor, its incisor edge is also 2 mm above the occlusal plane, as you can see. Next, mandibular canine. Mandibular canine, mesiodistal inclination, its long axis lean toward the midline when viewed from front, and its mesial inclination is more than any incisors as you can see so as you can see here is mandibular canine with more mesial inclination than mandibular lateral incisor than even mandibular central incisors rebuilding inclination this canine is slightly lingually tilted cervical half as you can see this teeth is lingually tilted and its cervical fat must be prominent to form the corner of the map. Unlike central incisor and lateral incisor, mandibular canine will be lingually tilted while these incisors are rebially inclined. Occlusal plane contact, the cusp is slightly more than 2 mm above occlusal plane. As you can see, 
for mandibra anteriors, their incisor edge is 2 mm above the oclusal plane. So let's do summary. All mandibra anterior teeth are radially inclined, except only mandibra canine, which we have seen it is lingually tilted. All mandibra anterior teeth are mesially inclined, and canine show more inclination than any other incisor. All mandibra teeth must be 2 mm above the occlusal plane. That is how you have to set your mandibra anteriors in your fabricated occlusal rim. Again, with using either wax spatula or wax knife. Here is a small quiz of only two questions and it is simple. Question 1. Which anterior teeth does not touch occlusal plane? Is it maxillary canine? Is it maxillary central incisor? Is it maxillary lateral incisor? Are you ready? Question 2. Which anterior teeth slope lingually on the biolingo inclination? Is it mandibular canine? Is it maxillary canine? Is it maxillary central incisor? Here is your answers. The anterior teeth which does not touch an occlusal plane, as we have seen, it is maxillary lateral incisor. The anterior teeth that is rope lingually on the biolingual inclination, it is mandibra canine. So, thank you, student, for having me today. See you in another presentation. Please take note of what you have learned here. And I can't wait to meet with you. If you like this presentation, please share and subscribe.